Hello, this is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel. Well, well, well. Here we go again. Just to saying that my predictions might be wrong. And I would say this. It is like when I watch these games, right? Soccer. Call it football in other, in other parts of the world. Well, football for the rest of the world. We call the United States and Canada the sport soccer, right? So, the FIFA World Cup has been kicked off. The U.S. got eliminated by the Netherlands. The Netherlands got to face Argentina. And, for example, that when I see one of these games, wishing... Or the game that I was watching is could be, you know, sorry, South Korea. I know you have done their best or whatever, but the effort is less because, I mean, the team of Brazil, it had been improving a lot since 2002 when they won in Japan, Korea. All right, so... Um, now the now the moment of this game that I seen is I want to thank to one of the hardest and most improved best team from the Asian squad from the Asian teams the best Asian team that came out of the World Cup better than South Korea better than anybody else is Japan Japan has tried all their best and for the fans thank you you're very clean and needy you clean up the stadiums after every game it's just like each other video when i see oh think about the japanese fans clean up well it is in their nature it is their nature that i think you go to a household in japan that they clean their room all right so it is in their nature, not just the not just the team, but the fans. Thank you. You are welcome to play in the United States. <clears throat> no matter no matter where. <clears throat> I have to say this. I have to say that Japan has been with this one one lead. I mean, I mean, or there's two two lead. I mean. A tied game, all right. So the key thing of the Slovak country, Croatia, and the silliness that I mean, <laughs> Ivana, Ivana, no, you made me laugh. M most wondering that that I think you need to come up with with a popular YouTuber, right? So that's it about that and about the about eating sushi or dancing sambo facing Brazil. Then what I have seen about the Japan team, they played with all their heart. All they need to do is to practice on their penalty kicks. If they do practice on their penalty kicks, they could come up to the levels of a Brazil, Germany, or any other of these, most or Italy, any other of these. European powerhouses and and just telling you that is this that Japan has done it and I want to thank you I want to thank you you in, in 2026 Japan might win a World Cup the first Asian team to win their fir first World Cup it's not going to be China it's not going to be South Korea it's not no it's going to be Japan right so Japan might be the next Brazil and not to claim that China be the next Brazil, right? So put it that way, what the GOAT of football, the GOAT of soccer has predicted, Pele has predicted that before 2023, that an African nation would win a world 
Cup. Yes, a FIFA World Cup won by an African nation. Well, his predictions may soon reveal. Okay, for, for this round of these teams, Brazil might be the only team from South America in amongst the most favorites to defeat Croatia. Yes, Brazil. Argentina, on the other hand, with their star Messi, might be the only one that is that's the, might be the only South American team that is going home. Facing the Netherlands. The Netherlands never have won a World Cup when they face at the end. When they they lost every World Cup final. They lost they, there always has been runner-ups. This is the thing is did I mention this? <clears throat> rooting or whatever it is rooting for their that their t uh, their team you know even though the netherlands beat the united states this year they lost the final against spain they lost a final against argentina and they uh, won against germany and 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 it is their time to shine and what it is at the end about this 2014 this woman this is another ivana she's dutch um, ivana raymonda Vanderbeek. she sang something about the netherlands being champion in brazil it didn't happen germany won it might happen in 2022 that is my predictions my predictions is totally different than Pele's predictions. So, um, Los Nacimientos. Pele, Los Nacimientos, Pele, right? So, he has predicted about, um, about uh, an African nation winning the World Cup before 2023. So, the go to soccer, the go to football, right? So, for the the go to football, the go to soccer here in the where the sport is called in the United States, the go has predicted something, and if Pele's right, if Pele is right, it will be revealed in 2022. And when I saw the game, when I saw the game of Morocco against Spain, Spain right there in penalty kicks have been screwed up three penalty kicks they played really good but morocco has given a run for their money this moroccan team are playing very good very awesome this seems like the this game seems so, so similar to the croatia japan game japan played with a lot of heart they screw up at the end with the penalty kicks. Spain, on the other hand, they played well. The Moroccan team really, really played awesome. And this prediction of, Pe of Pele's predictions, yes, the go to football, the go to soccer, what it's called in the United States, predicts that an African nation before 2023 could win a World Cup title and is coming true Pele's predictions there's Mr. Emilio dos Santos predictions Pele will come through will come true in 2023 so the African nation that is going to win a world cup is Morocco Morocco would be a team that we are be looking for, you know. Even though uh, I'm just saying, predicted the Netherlands to win. I wanted to win their first World Cup. The only European country that made it through the end and facing a World Cup. I mean, the challenge for them is Morocco. Morocco is a really good team. It is an African nation, 
and that and so Pele, the Brazilian superstar from back in the days, the GOAT, having his predictions will be revealed when Pele's prediction be revealed this year. What would the people of Morocco would do? They're gonna freaking party hard in Morocco. So, what it is over there in Casablanca, right there in Morocco, they just, the party is gonna be over there. So, um, I mean, this will be Pele's predictions being right. Pele's predictions being right, playing for Brazil in World Cups when there's the old trophy, the Julius Rimmett trophy, you know. And what it is of his predictions being right, I mean, uh, it's gonna happen. But seriously, it's going to happen. It's going to happen in our lifetime. Like it or not, if Pelé's predictions be revealed about an African nation, a team from an African country being the World Cup, is going to be revealed in 2022. Why is going to be revealed in 2022? The final end to put in, open up the can of worms, the FIFA World Cup, one of the greatest events that is as big as the Olympics. The most important event in football history, soccer for what is called in the United States, the beautiful game, Dif different name, we know what it is called in the rest of the world, it's called football. In the United States, it's called soccer. Morocco versus the Netherlands, right? So it would be most likely, I mean, a tie game for like a two hours, a tie game final. But in a way, uh, the Dutch team would would screw up with one goal. Morocco will shoot all uh, all of their goals. I mean, it's gonna be like an, an uh, the uh, the final would be ending in penalty kicks. The ending on pen on penalty kicks would be that um, you have in this final. A nation from Africa, Morocco, against against uh, the Netherlands, or Morocco against Brazil if it goes the other way around. It will do it in penalty kicks, but either the Netherlands or uh, or Brazil will lose one penalty kick. And Morocco will score them all. That's how I view it. And then if that happens, police predictions are revealed. And I would say just to comment me in this in this video. I know we're gonna talk about this. Football, rest of the world, soccer in the United States, one of the greatest events that is as big as the Olympics will be Pele's predictions being revealed. What do you think about Morocco winning Qatar 2022? What do you think about Pele's predictions being revealed? So, it is what it is. I'm going to make a, another video. If Pele predictions didn't be revealed, I'm going to talk about, in my mind, if Pele's predictions be revealed about the Netherlands' journey and victory. I will talk about the country who ever, he ever won being winning the first, winning their third title 
or their second title. And how has been, I mean, winning their third title? Because there's only two teams have won two World Cup titles. One from Europe, one from South America. And this is where I could say Argentina or France. I mean, talking about Argentina and France, Argentina won and they beat the Netherlands at the end of the final. And Argentina has won the last one. It would be, I don't know what's in, in 86 or 1990, right? So, as as to be more, most likely in specific, France has won against Brazil, has won against Croatia in Russia, and what it is to the expect of all the audience of all of football history, soccer history, it is that the World Cup takes every four years. Every four years, we find a new winner. We predict, we get our favorites, and all of a sudden, and there is one reason that Pele's predictions. And I'll tell you my only pick and my choice of team, why did I pick the Netherlands? I picked the Netherlands because I believe that the that this long history of a Cinderella story, a team that I meant to see. I mean, I wouldn't. I might just subscribe to a YouTuber that she's beautiful and sings every time. You might yourself subscribe to her, but I will tell you the reason why I choose that team. They went at the end. They win a face against Spain. They have never won a World Cup. And, you know, there's a bit, I, I give them a bit of a soft side. Why? Because when they reach the end, their success and their, you know, method of going through and, and win their long story of a Cinderella story, a great team that do it all the way and when they win, they failed at the end. They just dropped the egg. The Dutch dropped the egg at the final of the World Cup, of every FIFA World Cup in history. That's the reason why I want them to win this year. Because whoever faces it, it might not be, it might not be Morocco. But... If they ever face France or or whatnot, or if they ever face, I mean Brazil or some sort, they might win. But if uh, Morocco goes to the final, if Morocco were ever to go to the final. Then I see a game, oh, tie-up game, Morocco scoring four goals, four penalty kicks. The opponent team scores, screws up one by one goal, one, one penalty kick miss. Three are made, three out of the four penalty kicks being made, one is missed. Morocco, on the other hand, four out of four penalty kicks are made, and Morocco wins. And why do I have to view this time? Because they're playing tough teams, and Morocco is one of these only African nations that could win a World Cup. This is their year. This is Pelé's prediction. And for Pelé's prediction, you know, dos, uh, um, um, dos nacimiento, Pelé, 
Emilio Dos Nacimientos Pelé reveals that he's right about an African country winning a World Cup. Pelé's predictions revealed Morocco would be the champions of the 2022 World Cup. FIFA World Cup, that is. Write me a comment. Please subscribe to the Embargo Man channel. What do you think about Pele's predictions being revealed in 2022? What do you think Morocco winning in Qatar 2022? See you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.